first at five, Multnomah County's new deflection center will not be opening on schedule. It was supposed to be operational on September 1st when a new law goes into effect, making it once again illegal to possess hard drugs. Yeah, that center was supposed to give police a place to drop off people arrested for drug possession as an alternative to going to jail. Fox 12 investigative reporter Ezra Kaplan has been following this story and joins us now with the latest. Ezra. Yeah, for months, the county has promised that this deflection center would be ready to go on September 1st. But amidst, amidst community pushback and a shortage of workers, well, today they announced that target date is moving back. Today, I want to share that we are delaying the opening of our coordinated care pathway center, the deflection center, until October. Multnomah County Chair Jessica Vega Peterson said that the health department had been sounding the alarm, that the timeline was too tight. Our health department has kind of been, you know, just raising the issue that like this may not we, you know, like the, that this is going to be tough, that there are so many different components. One of the biggest struggles has been hiring the needed staff in order to open 24 seven as the county promised. Turkhouse, the Baltimore based organization that will run the center needs 26 new staff. So far, they have only hired five and in order to operate 24 seven, they have to hire five nurses. So far, only one has been brought on board. And once all five are hired, it will take a full month of training before doors can open. I will say that September 1st was always um, a really aggressive timeline to be opening this. This was a deadline that we um, received from the legislature, and it was something that I pushed our teams, our providers, to try to meet that in the best way possible. But opening a physical location by that date was never something dictated by the legislature. The law that will declare drug possession an arrestable offense directed counties to have a process in place to deflect people to treatment and resources as an alternative to jail. Multnomah County already has a plan in place using community partners in a peer guided process. And until the new center opens, that field based program will be the only option for deflection. We don't want to open this until um, we can um, we can be sure that the, that is going to be safe for both the people who are going to be inside the deflection center as well as those who are outside of it. And so work continuing to work with the community on a good neighbor agreement is going to be a critical piece of this. One of those neighbors is Escuela Viva, a preschool located just one block away from the deflection center. Frustrated with a lack of communication, the school sent a letter to the county. So the letter was about serious security and safety concerns we had with the county's really rushed plan to open on September 1. David Watnick is both the school's lawyer and has a student enrolled there. In the letter, he threatened to sue the county to block the deflection center opening. He welcomes the news of a delayed opening, but is skeptical. It's a small step in the right direction. If we end up in October, right back where we are now, which is them barreling towards opening without a legitimate safety uh, plan that addresses my client's concerns and the concerns of neighbors, then I think litigation will be on the table. Meanwhile, Chair Vega Peterson says she doesn't regret setting such an ambitious timeline. But I still think it's very important to drive to a goal, even if we don't make that goal, because that um, because it shows the urgency with which we need to get something up and running and the urgent need that we have in our community for a place for people to go. A race against time as a community waits for solutions. And the Portland police tell me they found out about this change just this morning. They say they're going back to the drawing table, working with Gresham PD and the Multnomah County Sheriff's Department to figure out what's feasible and appropriate for deflection on September 1st. Reporting in Southeast Portland, Ezra Kaplan, Fox 12.